Oh, he's drawing a little family. Ooh, it's <laughs> too long. No, 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 no! You, you work with it, work with it, work with it. Put his legs, put his legs up here. So uh, I must admit, like, this one had a little body problem. <laughs> I must admit. What did he? It's hands. His hands? Those yes, are some big ass up. fucking hands. <laughs> shut up! Oh my god, you made fun of the hands, so he made them even bigger on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how French hands look? It's close. Oh, no. Yes. no, 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 no! <laughs> Don't die on me, don't die on me. Come on, dude. I don't you wanna go, Mr. Stark! Me. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good! What will I do, Wield? Who are you with? Welcome to another day of helping people with your favorite YouTube reporter, Got Drums. Today's question comes from Lin Mead Mead Lin Mead. Lin Mead. Lin asks, Dear Got Drums, summer is almost over. I finally have some freedom to take a trip. But where can I go? Lynn, I know just the place. Brace yourselves, because where we go next may alarm you. Guys, uh, uh, somebody asked today how to enjoy a vacation to France. And you know, listen, we've been on this video grind for quite some time, and I think we deserve a break. We deserve a little, we deserve a little break. If we're going to France, uh, I don't speak French drums. We've planned for this because Little did you know, we actually have, now you're gonna, it's gonna be hard to believe, we have a French speaking guy right here. That French guy oh, actually hola, speaks French. What? French guy speaks uh, French? Sorry, Spanish. Hola, como esta? Me llamo Vicente, son 22 años. Quiero un bocadillo de ramen, por favor. He's speaking Spanish. What's happening? Our whole life is a lie. Who are we? Why are we? And most importantly, where are we? The answer is France. It's a French vacation with a fantastic tour guide named French Guy. My dear friends, I welcome you to my home. If you would please follow me, take a tour. I'll be glad to show you the way. Okay. I, heard, I understood like 50% of what he was saying. Who's this French guy? I can be- It's a public place. Um, I can't understand this French. Translate. What's he saying? C'est quoi, mon petit? Uh, he's saying, I really likes you. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if I can twist his nipples. Um, est-ce que ça te dérange si éventuellement tu prends tes tes tétons comme ça et tu as des des trucs comme ça? Eh oui, oui, yes. That's cool. Oh, oh, no, that's that hot. Tickles. Come on, use your strength. It only tickles. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. This is not the kind of party yeah. they usually have at my house, but I'll take it. <laughs> French guy, I don't like your I don't like your house. Can you take us somewhere else? I must admit that <laughs> for some reason I don't really like my house either. French guy, it's why is there a, a Russian tank in your living guess. room? In 2018, France was invaded by a single Russian tank. Just as in every war, the French government immediately surrendered. But don't worry, French people. This reporter doesn't know the definition of surrender, so I nuked the Russian tank so we could continue our French vacation. French guy, show us around. You've taken us. Where have you taken us? Is this a uh, is this a classical French shrine? Exactly. Wow. It's exactly what I just said. French culture to the maximum. Everything is French, you can see it. What, what yes. do French symbols mean? Ah, that's very simple. Um, M? It says welcome. That's it. What, that makes sense, yes. all right. Yeah, welcome to, to France. Uh, please enjoy your stay. We are making a deal on the baguette. You know, you gotta do your little advertising from time to time. And this is just... Gibberish. The same symbols fun. over and over again can mean so many different things. Who would have thought? That's the thing. I think you're beautiful. Uh, so, um, this. Yes, what is this? Typical French, um, <laughs> thing. Wow. I don't know the English word for it. Uh-huh. <laughs> French thing. Do you, you insert your bag in here? Oh! Oh, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and what was that? Uh, our king. No, we don't have prison. We're still into kings and stuff. So, that's oh, the, mm. the the France king. We got into we got to France and we witnessed the French king. We got to see him in person. That's intense. Holy oh, shit, king. dude! I want to go talk to the French king. king. Let's go talk to the French king. Introduce Actually, us. Something first. Yes, but first, do you ever wonder what what it's used for? Yeah, what is it used it's for? A baguette storage. <laughs> you know, you put it here and you can come in and get it out a bit later. <laughs> it's to store your baguette. Oh. So, you know, then, you keep, you keep them warm, when you visit, and then when you come back, you can just take them back with you. 
That's, that's fantastic. Would you introduce us to the French king? If he hallows me too, I will. I hope so. Oh my god, it's the king of France. Oh my god, you're such a big fan! <laughs> Oh, sorry. I got a bow. We got a bow. We got a bow. We got a bow. I, 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 I appreciate that. Oh, yes, Daddy. Oh, our king has some special oh. mental problems, but <laughs> it's okay. He said, welcome to France. You are my guest. What did he say? He said, welcome to France. You are my guest. Oh, wow. Yes. But I did say French. Um, yes, our uh, king. Yeah, our king likes bodies. <laughs> yeah, this to all the street bath. French, she said French. Fuck the street bath. Wow. The king of France sure is cool as a cucumber, as wild as a child, as tight as a kite. You could even say he's as nice of a species as a pile of feces. It was a momentous occasion for us to meet the king, and he even decided to throw us a French feast. After our tour guide retrieved his baguette from the baguette holder, we were finally ready to go. Okay, we can go. That was hot. Moxie, French guy made us a platter of French delicacies. Exactly. Szechuan sauce. You have to have a very high IQ to eat that. Hmm. Oh. What is wow. that? Wow. What is that? I don't think not exactly know. Uh, but it's a French cuisine. You're supposed to put it in the sauce to give it a bit, a little bit more taste. I think that's a, I that's think that's a stick of, I think that's a stick of dynamite, and that's very dangerous, French guy. French guy, you dropped it. You're, you've killed us all. Run! The explosion was very explosive. We were all nearly killed. But luckily, we were taken to a nearby hospital with the best French doctors. But I warn you now, if you are afraid of gore or seeing desecrated bodies on the brink of death, look away now. Nurse, we have three dead gypsies. Stat. Doc, do you think we're gonna be okay? Do you think we're gonna make it? How much milk? Have you drank it in your life? I I think I haven't drank in a lot of milk. I've had some as a kid, and then a little more when I was in my teens. But I don't, I've been drinking me. a lot of. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Drink my milk. Oh, <coughs> it's disgusting. What is the, what kind of milk is this? Is this two percent? No, give me some of that milk. Give me some of that milk. You'll die with strong bones. Ah, uh, hold on, I'm squirting. French guy, how do we go home? I don't like this place. He's still squirting milk. He's still squirting milk everywhere. How do we go home, French guy? I wish I knew, and I kind of want to leave too. I don't think I really like France that much anymore, after what we've seen. French guy, you must have a way to get out of here. You've lived here your whole life. I guess I can try something. I just got something recently. Um, it has magical power, from what I have been told. So, I mean, I guess we can... I have to try a teleportation spell. Abracadabra. God of the baguettes, if you hear me, answer my call and take us home. Wow, you heard we're home and you even teleported a French giraffe here with us. Good job, French guy. Uh, that's pretty powerful. A vacation is what you take when you can no longer take how you've been normally working. Luckily, my work here as a YouTube reporter rarely feels like a chore and often is a rewarding experience. But no matter what your work is, it's important to take time off every now and then. Even if that time off results in getting involved in a Russian war, meeting a strange king, and being blown up in a fiery French explosion. Even then, it's more relaxing than sitting at a desk. Hi, this is your friendly neighborhood reporter, Got Drums. Thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I am moving in a few days, so there may not be as many videos this week. I was going to try to prepare some in advance, but then I got food poisoning. The Oyster Nation attacked. A special tip from me to you, if you are given the opportunity to eat raw oysters, make sure they are not filled with poison first. But oysters are still pretty good. If you need something to do for the next few days while we don't have any videos, Come talk to me on Twitter. We can talk about why your dad has never come home after getting those cigarettes. Or we could have a deep conversation about life. Alright, bye!